Released on October 25th, 2013, Minecraft 1.7.2 was known as the update that changed the world. If I were to describe 1.7 in three words, I would say biomes, builds, and fishing. And of course, there were many other smaller changes, additions, and tweaks made to the game. For instance, enchanting in book updates, menu and setting changes, as well as map improvements. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna be focusing on the major changes. So this is a bit of a follow-up to a video I made several months ago where I revisited Minecraft 1.6.4, which was the first version of Minecraft that I ever started playing on. So I'll go ahead and link that video if you're interested in, in watching it. But this is kind of a continuation of that idea. So let's hop in our time machine and reminisce over Minecraft 1.7. So biomes is definitely the biggest update in 1.7 and the first time I attempted to film this video I went ahead and continued in the survival world I started in the last video and just I went out to explore and try to find these biomes on my own but my world sucks and decided it did not want to generate hardly any of the new biomes. I found a couple of them, but not very many. So instead, what I'm going to do is do a tier list. I'm going to rank the Minecraft biomes um, based on my own opinion. <laughs> I went ahead and found this tier list online. I'll go ahead and link it down below. I did not make this. Uh, this is like updated for all of the most recent uh, Minecraft 1.17 biomes. So all the ones that are newer, I'm just going to ignore. <laughs> and we're just going to stick to the 1.7 biomes specifically for this tier list. I'm going to be rating each of these biomes based on the aesthetics, what I personally think is most visually appealing, as well as the usefulness of the blocks and resources in each of these biomes. All right, so to start it off, we're going to begin with the Mesa biome. Mesas are probably one of the well-known 1.7 biomes. Um, what do I think about this? I think the Mesa is really pretty. I haven't like experienced much Mesa in my own personal gameplay. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some pictures on Google. Ooh, this is so pretty. <gasps> With the rocks. That actually looks like a, like a national park kind of. Hmm, the Mesa is very pretty and it's like the most different looking of the biomes, you know? It straight up looks like like a national park. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna put Mesa at iconic. It's not quite god level, but it is very pretty and especially if you add shaders. Hardened clay is, you know, a very crucial building block. I use hardened clay quite often and so, uh, yeah, I would say it's useful. We're gonna keep it at iconic. The next 1.7 biome they added was the savanna. Now, I remember when 1.7 first came out I literally started up a new survival world and you know was living that old town road country lifestyle <laughs> I made a savanna uh, sort of desert e styled house and I remember that being a big thing <laughs> so savannas are pretty like the acacia wood is very unique I will say I don't use the orange wood very often the most often however look at this build this looks really cool some of these builds are really nice the tree have a unique shape however like not very many interesting things spawn in the savannah like I wish they would have added new mobs to the biome maybe they still will do that in the future I would love to see like um, giraffes or like elephants in vanilla minecraft that'd be so cool yeah the savannah is pretty much just like grass orange wood in like you know mm trees you know <laughs> trees that are to the side we're gonna put this at good why is good under average i think these are supposed to be flipped i'm just gonna go based off of the actual name so the next technical biome that came with the 1.7 update is the sunflower plains but i'm just gonna kind of combine this into flower forest is there even a flower forest on this tier list okay i found another tier list we're just gonna use this one <laughs> this one will be linked in the description instead so mesa we said a tier iconic savannah is pretty good maybe we can do average yeah we'll, we'll put it at a c it was cool when it first came out not that useful now <laughs> next we're looking at flower forest so i love the flower forest again this is just my own personal opinion i think flowers are very pretty so i'm gonna put this at a b because pretty much a flower forest is just like a hilly 
grassy wooded area but then it just has pretty flowers so we're gonna put out a B and I would say it's pretty useful because of the flowers they're used for dyes. The next 1.7 biome is the roofed forest or what most people just refer to as the dark oak forest. This biome introduced the dark oak wood. Dark oak forests are really pretty. I remember once I built this really cool like enchanted fairy house in a dark oak forest and I just really like the vibe. So I think I'm gonna put dark oak up there is it gonna be with mesa this biome also comes with those giant mushroom like plant things which i don't really know what you would use those for other than mushroom soup the annoying thing is because the trees are so thick and big mobs tend to spawn very easily in dark oak forest like you have to chop down a lot of trees hmm. okay i'm gonna keep it at s tier for right now because i really do like dark oak but we'll maybe reconfigure these later on if I want to change my mind. The next biome is the birch forest. So this is pretty much the same as any other forest, just but, yeah, but, but just with birch trees. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. I don't know, birch wood is nice. It's not, you know, anything spectacular. Uh, I'm gonna put it with the savanna at an okay, or maybe should I put the flower forest? Hmm. I need to rearrange some of these. Maybe we'll put a savanna at D then because I use the savanna less than I use the birch. <laughs> the next 1.7 biome is the taiga, specifically the taiga without snow. This biome spawns spruce wood. I think podzol also spawns in here. And I'm not sure what else spawns in this biome, honestly. I'm pretty sure foxes spawn in here. Let me look this up. Foxes spawn in a taiga, giant taiga, and snowy biomes. Okay, foxes are cute. I don't know really what they do in the game, but they're cute. So that's another perk to the taiga. Hmm. I'm gonna put the taiga at C or maybe a B tier because I do use spruce wood quite often. Um, the tall trees are kind of nice. Pods I like to use for like paths. Yeah, I'll put it at B. And then also simultaneously, we got the mega taiga in 1.7, which is just like larger taiga trees and it's everything else is pretty much the same we'll put that at the same because it's, it's like the same biome essentially another 1.7 biome was the extreme hills so this is an extreme hills biome right here what even spawns here apart from like goats in the most recent version of minecraft but those weren't a thing in 1.7 i feel like more often than not like you just kind of fall from high terrain and you can die from the high heights um we'll put this at we'll put the c it's kind of cool to look at you know the structures of the extreme hills but it's kind of dangerous never have built anything in, ex in an extreme hills also all they have is like trees and grass and rock you know like nothing really fancy that you can't get anywhere else also didn't 1.7 come with the ice spikes biome like i could have sworn packed ice was a big thing with 1.7 the ice spikes biome is a rare version of the tundra biome released in 1.7 okay so we're gonna count this as a part of the 1.7 update this is a pretty unique biome i actually don't know if i have found an ice spikes biome like <laughs> personally on my own but i've obviously seen them let's look up some pictures Ooh, this is so cool this is like it's like frozen. Anything with shaders just looks so stunning. This is actually really pretty. Ice is kind of, you know, you don't use it all the time, but like when you need it, it's there. And I just think this one's pretty. I kind of want to put this at A. I don't know. Okay, and I'm pretty sure the mushroom biome was also new 1.7, so we're just gonna add that into um this video. Update, they weren't. <laughs> so just ignore this whole section of the video. All right, but those are pretty much the main 1.7.2 biomes. Um, all these other ones either came with, you know, the base game or like future updates. So we're not gonna look at those. The only other additional biomes that came with 1.7 are like the technical biomes uh, and other biome variants of stuff we've already discussed. I do think it's really cool how like detailed they made each of these uh, biomes in this update. Like our world really did expand with 1.7.2. But okay, let's take one final look at our tier list. Let's see if I want to change anything around. Cause if, I, if I'm going off of aesthetics and usefulness of blocks, I really do like the dark oak forest cause I like the dark oak wood. And I also like the flower forest. The A tier, these biomes I just think are really cool. Not necessarily biomes you use all the time, but like 
They're aesthetically very pleasing. B tier, I have the mega taiga in the regular taiga without snow. Like, what does this have except for spruce wood and foxes? Birch biome and extreme hills I put at C. Maybe I kind of want to put extreme hills. Let's put it at a B. Because again, it's like dangerous, but at least it's like a cool structure generation. The savannah biome I put at a D tier because I literally think the last time I used the savannah was when Minecraft 1.7 first came out. And the mushroom biome I put at F tier because who uses this? Like unless you're trying to like complete a challenge or, you know, check off like uh, the achievements. Like what do you use the mushroom biome for? So this is my 1.7 biome tier list. Again, this is just my opinion <laughs> based off of aesthetics and the usefulness of the blocks and resources in each of these biomes. But adding new biomes into Minecraft also means that we have new blocks, which we can use for new builds. So now we're gonna hop back into Nostalgia Universe and build up our base a little bit more with some of these new 1.7 features. The footage you're about to watch was filmed a couple days ago though, so there is not gonna be face cam, but I'm gonna talk to y'all at the end. Hold up, so before this video continues, I need to let y'all know that your girl just recently opened up YouTube channel memberships. So if you're interested in getting access to perks like our private Discord server, other exclusive videos and live streams that nobody else on the internet gets to experience, consider becoming a member. So go ahead and head into my description box where I have some information about how you can join. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. So today we are back in 1.7, like you guys already um, heard <laughs> from the intro. And I wanna show you guys a few things that I um, did differently uh, in the first initial recording of this video that is now either gone or I'm not gonna use it. So first things first, I have a brand new texture pack. So our starter shack looks a little bit different. And this is what it looks like on the inside. I will of course have it linked down below. I think it's really cute. So uh, yeah, I also have some new goodies from our adventures. Here's all of the things I currently own. And I also added a little uh, garden out back. So this is our little wheat farm. That's just our, our, little, our little area. That's pretty much all I did. And also my skin still hasn't loaded in, so I have no idea what's, what's wrong with that. <laughs> it was like that in the last video too, but yeah, I don't, I don't even have like the new, the newer slim skin design. I have the boxy design, like the Steve, you know, I got, I got the thick boy. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, uh, so today we're going to work on improving our house and we're also going to be using the new 1.7.2 blocks to, uh, redesign our house and make it a little cuter. First of all, I think I want to make it like a little bit bigger so that the windows can actually be like not right on the door that's something i want to do i'm thinking i also want to add like shutters to the windows with like trap doors since we have different colored you know woods and stuff now and yeah i just pretty much just want to redo this house and just make it cuter uh, also maybe make a safer path down down here. Uh, so one of the first things I think I want to do is extend it so that the windows kind of have a more dedicated place because the window is actually the first thing I think we're going to upgrade. 1.7.2 came with stained glass windows. So we're going to go ahead and experiment with those with some of the dyes I went ahead and found when I went exploring. I found a couple of the new, you know, flowers and we might still go back over to the flower forest to find um, some other ones. But windows are going to be very important because that's one of the new things that came in this update is the stained glass windows. So we're going to first fix this house. I think I want to make it like one more block this way as well as one more block this way. After I expanded the house, which I'll show off in a little bit, I spent a few hours collecting materials to add a few new additions to our area. I chopped down some oak wood, which I ultimately didn't end up using, clay to make hardened clay since mesas don't seem to want to generate in my world, sand for the stained glass windows, and flowers to dye them. I've been wandering around for a little bit. I found this uh, dark oak um, forest with the giant mushrooms. I believe that's what it's called. And right beside it, I found some um, 1.7 flowers. So I think this is what those azaleas. Let me double check. Azure bluette. What? This one gets light gray. It's blue though. Oh my God, I always get confused. I swear those give light gray. These are more daisies over here. Let's just take some more just because I have the inventory space for them. 
Uh, and they're really pretty. We can maybe just use them as decorations. We'll take some more of these Azures. The Azures Blue. Why is there a forest fire? Oh my god. Is there like a pool of lava or something? Oh yeah, okay. The forest is burning down. Oh my goodness, I thought there were more flowers over here. I'm so sad. <gasps> Wait, there's more over there. Those look like the Azures though. I don't want the Azures, I want blue flowers. Ooh, I found some more flowers, you guys. Okay, so there's some purple lilacs over there. Maybe we'll use lilac instead. Okay, so we're gonna take these lilacs. These are so pretty. And what are, wait, what are these? Are these rose bushes? The rose bushes, okay, they look very different in this texture pack. Oh, those are the blue ones. Oh my God, over there in the swamp. Okay, I have no idea how far I went, so hopefully I can find my base from here. But I'm so happy I finally found the blue flowers I was looking for. I'm pretty sure these just give blue dye, cyan dye. Let's, let's find out. Blue orchid, light blue dye. Okay, that's good enough. Did I see something moving in the corner? Oh, it's a chicken. Okay, I wanted to make sure it wasn't a hostile mob. <laughs> a witch or something. You never know what's creeping around these streets. So cute. Okay, so we got some blue orchids, some azures, oxide daisies, lilac. I think I'm gonna head home because uh, I have no idea how far out I am. So I think this is a pretty successful, you know, flower collecting trip. I would have loved to have found the little flower field I found the first time I went out. Oh my God, there's more flowers. What are these? Let's see. I have no inventory space. What is this? A peony pink dye. <gasps> okay, 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 I want that. Let's get these peonies real fast. Okay, now let's head back home. So these are the materials I've collected. I have made some hardened clay. But yeah, I also collected some oak wood. As, as you can see, I got a pretty good amount of that. Some oak leaves also, in case I want to use that for my build. I have some dark oak planks and some dark oak wood. That's when I went adventuring that one time. And I think I also have spruce inside the house. Um, here are the yellow stained gl um, glass windows, which I love. I don't think my thing was recording when I did this. Look how cute it looks. So pretty. Also, here's this super cute uh, painting that I put up. I love the way it looks in the texture pack. Oh, another thing I learned is that I cannot make different like wood doors and stuff. I thought I could do that in this version. Like if you have a uh, spruce wood, for example, I thought you could make like spruce doors. It just gives us a normal wooden door. So apparently I guess 1.7.2 isn't where they gave us different like wood um, var variants of like the objects. Maybe it's one of the other 1.7 updates. I'm not sure. Maybe one of you guys can update me on that because I could have sworn it was this version of the game that did that, but I was really sad. I was really excited to get my my uh, spruce door, but it's okay. And I obviously also expanded the house. Um, it looks a little bit awkward. I also made a staircase down to <laughs> out there. If you come over here, you can see a little bit better. I don't know how I feel about this. I thought it would look less awkward if I did it this way. I'm not sure what's making it awkward, I think. I think I want to take it one down again. Actually, let's let's do that right now. <laughs> it's like it has a big head. I also have my sprint key, which is nice. That's something I forgot was implemented in this version. So by default, your sprint is left control, but yeah, no more double tapping W. <laughs> oh, and I also added these shutters. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah, I added the windows, added the shutters. I just reduced the forehead. So let's see if this looks any better. Ooh, it looks long now. Okay, girl, I don't, this house is just weird, okay? <laughs> uh, I feel like I keep making changes and making it worse. I kind of like the rim around it with this. I don't think that's really supposed to be showing, but I don't know, I kind of like it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess it looks it looks fine from the inside. The outside just looks kind of odd. We just gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> I wanna get started on this little gazebo thing uh, overneath my little wheat farm. The wheat is finally, you know, growing back in. As you can see here, it's really just a puny little farm, but I wanted to make a sort of cute little gazebo out of fences and also hardened clay, stained hardened clay, or it's not stained, but colored hardened clay, which is now known as terracotta in the more recent versions of Minecraft. So we're gonna go ahead and make some hardened clay. I had this idea to do like some blue and light gray. So I have a bunch of flowers here. I have to figure out which, which one. So peonies give you pink. 
Blue orchids give you light blue. That's what I'm leaning towards. Azures give you light gray. Okay, so daisies and azures give the same light gray. And then lilac gives you magenta. So I'm imagining the blue for the little gazebo. So we're gonna make a few of these. We're gonna make 10. I don't know how many I need. So we're just gonna make 10. And we'll make a few more like great dye. We'll like even it out, make 10. Uh, and I forget how to uh, stain hardened clay. Or not stain. I'm saying stain because of the stained glass, but I need to, it's like colored hardened clay. <laughs> so I think it's like this. There we go. I guess it is stained then. We'll start with that. And now we're gonna do some light gray. So I think that should be good. Let's, let's just start with that. It's not gonna be a super huge gazebo hut. And of course I need fences. What, what, how do you make fences? Or is fences just like all sticks? Oh, I forgot that fences used to be that way. Literally completely forgot about that crafting recipe. And we can get started on this build. Okay, so I guess I wanna start like right here. One, two, I think. That's good. Then we'll do the first layer of blue. So I don't want to make it a perfect like square, but this is like the size idea I have in mind. So then I'm thinking doing the next layer of the light gray. All right, I need something to put on the top. Would it look better with like a little white tip? Let's see, that's what the little like white tip at the top. I don't know how I feel about that, I don't know. Okay, but now we're gonna go back through and trim off the edges to make it less blocky. I don't know how to explain it, but I'll show you guys what I mean. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Okay, so this is my idea for the gazebo. I kind of like knocked off the corners to make it, I guess, more rounded. I don't know how that looks. Okay, so I kind of want to try making white stained glass just to see how that would look on the top. That's actually really pretty. And then I also have normal glass, just in case. And let's try the white stained glass first. Okay, that's actually pretty. I like the way the stained glass looks in this texture pack. Let's take a step back. This is also pre-scaffolding days of Minecraft where we have to, you know, block up to see our builds. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of cute. <gasps> okay, I tapered it off a little bit more, if you can see. So it's definitely more rounded, less square, and I'm really digging the look of it. I think some of the blocks I kind of placed incorrectly, so I'm gonna go fix that, but I'm really liking how this is looking, and I like the white stained glass on top. Okay, I think that's looking better. Here is our cute little uh, wheat farm. I actually wanna go ahead and just harvest the wheat and make some bread. Let's go ahead and replant before this soil goes bad or unhose itself. Wait, that, doesn't, that sounds very wrong. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. And there's one other thing I wanted to do before I end off this video. Uh, one thing 1.7.2 introduced was new fish. So fishing got a, a slight improvement in 1.7 where now just as opposed to just catching like normal fish, you can also catch puffer fish, which is used for the potion of water breathing. And then you can also catch, what was it? Salmon, I believe. So. Salmon, I don't think really have a special function, but I know pufferfish was used for the new water breathing potion. Uh, and you can also like poison people and stuff when you eat pufferfish. Uh, so I wanna go ahead and build a little pond next to my house. Maybe I can build one like right here. <gasps> That'd be cute, like where that tree is. <gasps> Let's do that. But actually before I go down there, I kinda wanna decorate this place a little bit. This is like a little, uh, like thing I saw people do in some like let's plays is put an item frame behind a torch. It just makes it look a little bit better because we don't really have pretty lighting in this version of the game yet. Um, or like lanterns and all those other like cute, cuter solutions to torches. So I'm just gonna like put all my torches with an item frame behind it. And I feel like we need some more torches here. Let's, let's torch it up right here as well. <laughs> We can never have too much light. So that's pretty cute. I actually like that next to my little unicorn painting. We're gonna go ahead and make a little pond. 20 minutes later. I think that looks pretty good. I think I want to decorate this place with like mossy cobble. I think that would be kind of cute. And I, there's not like such thing as dirt, like making a path with a shovel in this version of Minecraft. But uh, I think maybe we can get some coarse dirt or actually I don't think coarse dirt is craftable in this version of the game. Um, okay, so 
I think what we're gonna do is get some vines so we can make mossy cobble. I hope that is craftable. Oh no, okay, so I just Googled it and apparently mossy cobblestone can only be crafted in versions 1.8 and beyond. So, uh, can't make that. I guess we'll just put normal cobblestone there for now and we'll just use the oak leaves. Uh, I guess it is interesting to see i guess just the little things that have changed over time like the stuff that was not craftable and now is craftable in newer versions of the game let's see i also have some spruce leaves here making it look pretty uh i think i'll also add maybe some sand and gravel if i have some into the pond that's not looking too bad again i definitely want to replace the um cobble with mossy cobble maybe we'll do that if we join this um game another time there's also some mobs over there oh my god there's so many and there's some skeletons over there oh and he's in my pond now all right let's go ahead and make a fishing rod before we end off the episode and see if we can catch any of the new fish i always get this part mixed up it's like that okay rise and shine i just ate my last piece of bread so i think i'll need to kill some animals on the way and i can't kill sheep because sheep don't drop any food in this version Okay, I'm gonna get some food and I'm gonna be right back. So I went off on a little journey, slaughtered some pigs for their pork chops, and I ended up fishing in this ocean nearby the place I originally spawned. Ooh, something's coming. <gasps> Ooh, I got a salmon! I got a raw salmon. Okay, let's see if we can get a, a bleh, English. Let's see if we can get a puffer fish. Ooh, okay. We just got uh, another fish. Whoops. I'm like watching a video. <laughs> another video as i'm making this here's just the normal fish this is called fish yeah raw fish raw salmon okay i'm gonna head home though because i don't want mobs to spawn this place is not lit up i do not want to fight the monsters maybe we can do a bit of night fishing let's see let's try fishing this way and i'll be on the lookout if there's any mobs coming my way <gasps> oh i found a different one why do i still have rotten flesh in my inventory i don't want this <gasps> clown fish i forgot that's another new fish in the update okay so i think i've gotten pretty much most of the new fishes uh except for the puffer fish we got the raw salmon just the regular raw fish which that's not new but you know that's just in the game uh and all we're looking for is the puffer fish eventually oh <gasps> guys we got it uh, get rid of these seeds. The puffer fish. Oh my god. Why does everything I don't want keep going in my inventory? So we got all the new fishes. We have the raw fish, raw salmon, the clown fish, and the puffer fish. I have so much crap in my inventory. <laughs> I don't know how this keeps happening. You know what I do want to see Minecraft implement into the game? that they have not yet is backpacks. There have been so many mods or backpack mods. Uh, I would love to see a backpack actually added into the game. I guess the closest thing we have is like shulker boxes, but I kind of want something that you don't need to necessarily go to the end for <laughs> to obtain, you know, something that's easier to obtain. Maybe like uh, backpacks could hold less stuff than shulker boxes, but still be more, you know, just an extra sort of sense of storage that you don't need to um have as many materials for uh because i would use that all the time in my <laughs> in my games because bro my inventory is always full so let's go ahead and head home display our little fishies and call it a day i placed these spruce logs up against the mountain to display my new fishy finds in item frames i think it looks pretty nice and i also discovered that i can fish in this little baby pond that i custom built Ooh, we can fish here is an updated look at our base with all of the 1.7.2 changes. Of course, we did not get to play with all of the new updates in this video, but I just wanted to dabble around with a few of them today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this throwback video revisiting Minecraft 1.7. Let me know in the comment what your favorite part of the video was or what's your favorite Minecraft 1.7 memory. What did you do in your survival worlds? What LPs did you watch? let me know. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. My name is Asmara. My goal here is to make the invisible visible through gaming, creativity, and conversation. And this would not be a 1.7 Minecraft video without ending with a dubstep or electric outro of some sort. So enjoy this track and I'll see you guys next time. Bye y'all. Yeah.